Good day everybody, Sebastian Keynes here, back with you with another Watch Our Volumes video. Today I am discussing Wave 115. It did take me a couple of tries uh, to clear this wave. It's one of the most challenging ones I think that you can see in the uh, late game to end game stage. And uh, even though it was above the required uh, base power or battle power, uh, you certainly have to coordinate your attacks uh, fairly well. Uh, I'm gonna here let me get off the screen here for a minute uh, you can now see that my base power is above I'm at the billion level and I'm just gonna show you this run uh, because it, it's going to be a, a fail run but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how I was thinking about this and how I'm positioning things and I was trying to get the um, you know mages and uh, the marksman on top with the healers and healer down here on the bottom to protect my defenders and my fighters and even though I was kind of mix and matching and trying to get the uh, bonus uh, from the, um, the, the, the title uh, tree it wasn't really working out for me so I, I tried to do the three mages i tried to do the three marksmen the three defenders bonus stats and uh it, it just if i was able to hold off the wave i was having a hard time bringing down the boss so my idea here was to try to drop all again right before she does that first aoe attack that she does so she'll clear the right hand side of your of your platform relatively easy with that um with that first move that she does and then i was just trying to bring in the 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 dragon and the other assists and uh, as soon um when, when I, th I thought that i would need them to try to get the damage down on this run here, I was pretty much just looking to see how much damage they were doing before she was able to bring me down. So I was bringing her to about 60% at this stage. And I knew at this point right here that it was going to be hard to probably um, bring her down because she's going to get her first power up here soon. And then uh, the, if I did not get her above uh, below 20% by the second, uh, when the second power up came, I knew that I was going to have a hard time. So if you're kind of having this type of idea, uh, that did not work for me. Maybe you can get it to work, but I'm just trying to give you an example of how I tried to approach this. And based on the runs that I was doing, it kind of gave me an idea of how to go about uh, repositioning and trying to get the next uh, battle set up so I could try to to get her to get her down so see by this by this point rampage level two I knew I was in trouble and so this for sure the run is going to is gonna fail Previously, with the other uh, the other stages, is pretty much is meeting the the battle power, and you can just set them up however uh, you want, and and you can you can clear the waves fairly easy. But this one is the first one that I encountered that actually did require me to set up, uh, you know, to to give it some thought and set up things uh, a little bit, set up things with strategy involved. All right, so here I go back again. And based on the previous battles that I've done, this is where I start coming in and start repositioning things. And I started looking to see what it is. So you, I got three defenders on uh, the first line with Valka. And I got my fighters on the back. I believe that the one on, the, um, on that side is Wrath. Yeah, there is Wrath. So they're fighters. I have five fighters, three defenders. So I was looking as to how easily she was um, essentially just taking out my uh, wave on the my on the uh, left hand side of the platform. 
So here I am now doing double healer on the on on the right hand side of the platform. And I did recall the healer from that side. So I essentially just let him be the marksman and the mage on that side. Try to do as much damage as possible early on. So I'm switching mages and I'm bringing in the other one right behind. Yeah, with a little bit more extension. So I'm bringing him to the, to the right hand side of the platform because those are, these are the guys that are surviving a little bit longer. Now Vortex is facing towards the defenders, if you notice there, um, right here. Vortex is actually facing this way to try to get this coverage area. Uh, this healer, Sadie, here is actually covering this way. And in this in this side here, I actually have Sertram pointing no, um, east, I guess, to the right-hand side of their screen. So he's not pointing down, he's actually pointing east. These other threes are, are pointing down. Alright, so let me fast forward this a little bit and get the battle started. So I get my idea here is to drop Oleg or this the first assist right before she does that move to try just just to freeze her just for a tad to give me a chance to do some damage. So here's my first drop. I kind of did freeze her, so I got the mages and the and the marksmen to stay alive on the left on the left hand side. So. At this point here, this was the first time that I that I kind of felt good about how things were looking because I still had uh, my one of my uh, marksmen and um, uh, the, the the mage here or the other marksman, two marksmen here actually stood up. That was the first time that I actually got that side of the platform to hold, and now you can see the extra damage. Now that I have the healers here. There, this side is more protected, so that actually improved the damage as I saw it. So now I'm just seeing everything. Her health is just dropping down significantly. And then she came down. So I really think that one of the things that helped is probably solidifying a little bit more support on the right hand side of the platform. And the other thing that might have helped as well is that I dropped that first assist. I, far, I dropped all like right before she did that AOE burst that she does at the beginning of the battle and was able to maintain a couple of the units that I had placed on the left left hand side of the platform. So see if that strategy works well for you all and if it does let me know in the comments section below. I do appreciate uh, you tuning in to take a quick peek at this. Uh, I hope that the strategy works for you and uh, let me know if um, you do encounter any uh, other problems just make sure that you do meet the base or the battle power requirement and you should be fine with whatever units you have thank you very much for tuning in i will see you all next time on another watcher of realms video